Uh, yeah, I'm in here from New York. We're doing our thing. If you're curious, that was my girl up there talking hella shit. Hella shit. Hella shit. But I gotta tell you where she fucked up. When she talks about, oh, it's the coffee. Ask her this afternoon. Her leg was shaking like this. She was going all over. It wasn't the fucking caffeine. That was me, baby. I did that. I did that. They, we, we got this guy up here. They call him uh, Hurricane. I was walking down him behind the stairs. That motherfucker felt like an earthquake. I, I can't help it. I didn't do it. Shit. I didn't go for the cookies. <laughs> so we're driving around here. This, this, this Washington DC shit is kind of fucked up. But, like, I, I don't get it. These guys on these fucking scooters. Like, I stepped off the fucking curb. I almost yoked one. They just come flying by in, in the sirens. I was outside smoking a joint. By the way, is weed legal here? I didn't give a fuck. I smoked in front of the White House today, Congress, the Ten Commandments, a cop. It, it just didn't matter, but thankfully, we, I don't have to worry now. I would do this shit. But yeah, it's kind of strange here with, with the sirens. Was, I was outside smoking and the tow truck had sirens on. Like, why would a tow truck need sirens? So I, I went to get gas and I saw it, it was 375. So I went to the White House and knocked on the door. Sleepy Joe didn't wake up though. He didn't wake up. So like Melissa said, I, 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 do, some, I do some white people shit. I can't help it, you know? So I, I drive race cars. I was the head coach of a college hockey team. I play golf. I've been in one of those squirrel suits flying through the air. And, and I was in Grand Cayman snorkeling. You know, I did a lot of cool shit. And when I tell all my friends, the biggest thing they get out of it, they're like, wow, you can swim? <laughs> Like, how fucked up is that? Like, yeah, I could swim. So you guys got, um, like, i seen a lot of, we, we do a lot of comedy. We drive all around doing comedy. And I see some offensive shit. Today, we're driving, and I saw the back of, you know, the frame of a license plate. They were from Tyson's Corner. What, why did it say Coons? <laughs> ran that motherfucker. Oh, sorry, officer, I didn't see the light. Like, what the fuck is, what is, what, what is that? So, one time, we're going down south, I'm driving down, and you know how everyone's soft and sensitive around this motherfucker. You can't call the Washington Redskins, you gotta call them the commanders now. Right? That's bullshit. We gotta call our St. John's uh, Redman, we gotta call them the Red Storm. But when I was, told you about them fucking sirens, all over, that's it. More sirens than New York. So when I was driving down, I saw a sign in Virginia that said Lynch Station. I hit the gas pedal and got the fuck out of there. So when I get to the hotel, I call my friend. I said, yo, bro, you're not going to believe what I just saw. He's like, what? I said, there's a sign that said Lynch Station. You know you always got one stupid friend that asks the dumbest questions, right? So what do you think he asked me? What was it? Like, you think I pulled over to the Shell gas station and I asked the dude, excuse me, sir, what's the lunch station? Here, stand on this square, I'll show you. So while I was down there, I was doing some white people shit and I went to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Yeah, you got white, pure white people shit. And, and the parking garage is underneath the building. So while I was down there, I saw a car and had a bumper sticker that said, I miss New York. You know, when you're from out of town, you know, you kind of feel what it's like to be away from home. So I wanted to oblige him. I broke his window and stole his fucking radio. I left a note. I said, now do you miss New York, bitch? You, you gotta make him kind of, you know, feel at home. You gotta, so what do you guys do out here for fun? What do, what do you do here? Nothing. No, you come to comedy shows and don't laugh. Right. So what is it? Oh, you know what? Thanks for reminding me about that.
Because this one over here wants to talk about what she thought she was getting, right? Cookouts, barbecues. Hmm. Hmm. I thought I was getting some shit too on the white side. I thought I was getting good credit. I, I, that, that shit didn't happen. I thought I was getting Thanksgiving dinners. Nope. Nope, that shouldn't happen. But, but you know, we still love each other. Oh, say, oh. Bullshit. I need a baseball bat when I sleep. She got her crazy. She got her crazy. So speaking of relationships, I'm in one, right? And there's signs that you have to pay attention to before you try to, you know, advance at all. Like, when she gets into bed and she's laying on the edge to the point that if she sneezes, she's gonna fall off, don't try to touch her. Because that shit, I'm always ready for the dick. She lied straight to all of you motherfuckers. Every last one of you, she fucking lied to you. That shit, that shit, that shit never worked for me. That shit never worked for me. This is what it'd be like. I, I go touch it, just roll. Just keep, we got a cake size bed. She just keep rolling. Just roll the fuck out of the way. She lying. And you know what else she does? This is another key sign. You guys gotta pick up on the signs so you don't make a mistake and try. I wanna save your dignity, right? She's got this big heavy blanket, right? So when I'm in the bed and she don't want me to, touch, she puts this fucking 30 pound blanket over it. Right, I go to try to put my leg on. All right, fuck it, then I roll over. And when she wakes up, oh, oh you slept with your back to me? I didn't bring my chisel to bed, what the fuck? My bed? Oh my God, hey man, that's my time. My name is Andrew Washington. Check me out on uh, Instagram.